good morning my dear friends welcome you all to the today's presentation topic insect digestive system in insect based on food material ingested there is structural modification in the insect digestive system like if insect feed on solid food then it possess biting and chewing type of mouth part and its elementary canal contain gizzard and peritropic membrane if insect feed on plant juices then it possess piercing and sucking type of mouth part and filter chamber but there is no gizzard and peritropic membrane in sap sucking insect the alimentary canal in insect is a long muscular and tubular structure see here it is extended from mouth to the anus in insect the alimentary canal is divided into three parts the anterior one is foregut or stomodium middle one is midgut or mesentron and posterior one is hindgut or proctodium let's see about foregut or stomodium from here to here it is the foregut foregut it is the ectodermal in origin and has the cuticular intima layer see this is the cuticular intima layer foregut it is consisting of our foregut it is made up of mouth pharynx esophagus crop gizzard and cardiac wall let's see the anterior most part of foregut is known as mouth it help in ingestion of the food material see behind the mouth behind the mouth there is a well musculated organ is known as pharynx the function of pharynx is push the food into the esophagus pharynx in sucking pest act has a sucking pump see at the base of the pharynx a pair of salivary glands are there this salivary gland open into the salivarium where it secrete saliva saliva help in the partial digestion of the food and add taste to the food and lubricate the mouth part see here what is the salivarium and salivarium this is a terminal mouth part terminal mouth part lead into a cavity is known as pre oral cavity see this is the hypopharynx the pre oral cavity between the hypopharynx and epipharynx is known as salivarium this is the salivarium the pre oral cavity between the hypopharynx and salivary duct is known as salivarium in salivarium salivary duct open and secrete saliva now come to the esophagus see this is the esophagus esophagus it is a narrow tube which transport food from pharynx to the crop now come to the crop this is the crop the dilated and distal portion of the esophagus is known as crop the function of the crop is to store food 
and act has wood reservoir next come to the gizzard at the posterior portion of the foregut the cuticular intima layer is modified into teeth like structure is known as gizzard see here this is the gizzard with teeth like structure developed gizzard help in grinding up food material see here at the junction of foregut and midgut several finger like structures are there which are known as hepatic ck or gastric ck which help in increase in food intake and shelter the symbiotic bacteria now this is all about foregut now come to midgut or mesentran in midgut actual digestion start and occurs actual digestion starts and occurs in midgut region only in this midgut region only actual digestion starts and occurs midgut it is endodermal in origin that's why it do not possess the cuticular intima layer see here there is no cuticular intima layer but the midgut epithelial cells secrete a layer see this layer this is the layer secreted by midgut epithelial cell it's known as peritoneum or peritropic membrane this layer in turn protect the midgut epithelial cells from abrasion by hard food particles this peritropic membrane or peritoneum is permeable to the digestive enzymes and food products i told you peritropic membrane is absent in sap sucking insect but they possess filter chamber what is the filter chamber we will discuss in coming slides this is all about midgut now come to the hindgut or proctodium from here to here this is the hindgut portion hindgut it is the posterior most part of the alimentary canal and it is ectodermal in origin that's why it possesses the cuticular intima layer see here it is in gray color foregut is highly permeable to the salts ion amino acid and water than any other region such as foregut and midgut at the junction of midgut and foregut a valve is there is known as pyloric pyloric valve this valve regulate the movement of digested food from midgut to the hindgut at the junction of see here at the junction of midgut and hindgut surrounding to the pyloric wall a group of tubular structures are there see here which are known as malpighian tubules malpighian tubules are major organs of excretion which help in excretion of nitrogenous waste material from insect body to the outside and help in maintaining the osmoregular osmoregular osmoregulation in insect 
any insect the hand guard is again divided into three parts see here it's one helium colon and rectum helium and colon are pouch like structures which houses symbiotic microorganism and act as fermentation chamber the last part of hand gut or alimentary canal is rectum rectum has 3 to 6 rectal pads see these are the rectal pads these pads help in the reabsorption of water salt from the fecal matter insect you know insect do not drinks water that why it always focus to recover the water even from fecal matter also see here see here this image is drawn by me to make you more understandable see this is the mouth this is the pharynx this is the esophagus and dilated portion of the esophagus is the crop crop is followed by gizzard and gizz at the junction of foregut and midgut there are finger like structure known as stomodial valve or cardiac valve no sorry at the junction of at the junction of foregut and midgut a finger like structures known as hepatic ck or gastric ck see this is the stomodial valve or cardiac valve which regulate the movement of food from foregut to the midgut this is the midgut it is endodermal in origin actual digestion of food take place in this region only see this is the pyloric valve or proctodial valve which regulate the movement of digested food from midgut to the hindgut at the junction of the midgut and hindgut several tubular structures are there see here which are known as malpighian tubule which help in excretion of nitrogenous waste material now come to the last portion this is the hindgut of the insect it's again divided into ileum colon and rectum which open out through anus see here in the colon in colon these are the cells in colon some cells shelter microorganism such cell known as mycetocytes cells known as mycetocytes several mycetocytes are combinedly called mycetomes so see here one of the example in tineola cloth moth larvae the keratin is digested by keratinase enzyme secreted by protozoa so this protozoa are sheltered by mycetosomes mycetocytes of colon you know in insect there is the exchange of microorganism occurs by means of mouth or egg so mouth to mouth exchange of microorganism is known as trophallaxis transmission of microorganism through egg is known as trans ovarial transmission now see here what is the filter chamber this is the filter chamber thin walled a bladder like structure which pass directly from anterior portion of the midgut to the posterior portion of the midgut or anterior portion of the hindgut without passing through the middle portion of the midgut is known as filter chamber filter chamber prevent the excess dilution of the hemolymph and enzyme and facilitate better enzyme activity so filter chamber is mainly present in sap sucking insect such as aphids jasis and plant bugs in aphids jasis and plant bugs the excessively taken 
plant sap is excreted out through the anus by through the anus by means of filter chamber has the honeydew over the leaves see here honeydews this honeydew attract sooty mold fungus has result in the leaves turns black in color due to conversion of these leaves into black in color the photosynthetic activity photosynthetic activity is hampered in plant and which ultimately which ultimately influence the yield in yield or plant productivity see the finally gut physiology the primary function of the insect digestive system is to digest the ingested food and to observe the metabolite after food digestion the digestion process in insect is enhanced with help of the enzymes and microbes which are produced by digestive glands and special cells present in digestive system thank you so much